have. Interesting thought. What if, what if you can only be controlled and programmed if you're smart and mentally retarded people can't be fucking programmed? And now, you hear me say about how I'm mentally retarded. There's many shades of gray, but yes, yes, I am the high-functioning autistic fucking person as they as my mom tried to call me to make me feel better about being retarded. I don't know what's wrong with just being fucking retarded. But you know they want to they want to have oh, well you're not quite that category. You're this category. You're high-functioning autistic. What the fuck's the difference? I'm mentally retarded. Anyways, I think what happens when you have a mentally when you're mentally disabled you can't be programmed. Where people who are highly intelligent can easily be programmed. Here's why. See, people who are smart are used to hearing their information from a book, from a source, and calling it fact and reporting on it as fact, and that's the end of it. Mentally retarded people are aware of that, who are aware that they are also mentally retarded, hear a source and go, huh hear another source and go, huh, and then keep going through all the fucking sources. We never fucking stop because I realize I'm fucking retarded. I can't just listen to one fucking thing. I can't. I used to, li- I listened to Alex Jones. I used to listen to Glenn Beck, but they censored him off the internet. I can't stand CNN. Every time I tune into CNN, I just want to fucking sh- kill myself. I can't fucking listen to CNN. I can't listen to MSNBC. I cannot hear. I can't handle the view. I can't handle the view. But you know what was that movie? What was that movie that Barbara Streisand, Streisand, Streisand was in? And all those girls. They, it was a whole bunch of women who got fucked over by men, and they took power back against the men. And they made the men pay and suffer. And God, I, I forget the name of that video. Do you Can you believe that I actually watched every single episode, every single season, including the conclusion video of Sex in the City? Man, she fucked Mr. Big over and over and over again. That emotional... Oh, it was like, by the end of it, I was like, God dang, you girls aren't even... Like, I'm sorry, I'm not even, I'm not even going to finish that, that thought process. These are not edited and I'm not censored. But yeah, I watched the entire, all the, all the episodes, all the seasons of Sex in the City and the movie. Have you done that? And you could have fucking come at, I don't even know what to say to you. Anyways, programming does not work as well on the mentally retarded person who's also aware that they're mentally retarded. It works on those who are stupid and they don't realize that they're stupid and it works on people who are highly intelligent because highly intelligent people, they get their facts from the source that they say is accurate and then any other type of information that comes from anywhere else is considered false and they never even listen to it. Because why? Because it's all about the credibility of the source to them. It's the same as in school. You didn't. You don't care about the fucking truth. You just want the fucking answer and you're gonna go to the source that you feel is the right answer and then go around saying that that's fact, that's fact. It's not. See, I, I'm, I'm mentally disabled. So when it comes to what is fact, and what is fiction, I look at it all because I'm retarded. I don't know what's true or what's right and wrong. I don't know what's fact or fiction. I got to come to my own conclusions about things. I got to watch many, many videos. I got to, if I can, read. But the reading is hard for me because I'm fucking retarded and I've never been good at fucking reading. God, every time they called me to read out loud in the army, I was like, ah! And I'd jump up and I'd read it as fast as possible so that maybe they wouldn't fucking choose me again. I hit a word that I didn't know. I fucking skipped it. I was like, because I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be embarrassed with the fact that I, I can barely fucking read. I definitely can't fucking spell. You guys see my comments? Do you see a lot of punctuation in there? No? Gee, I wonder if it's because I'm fucking retarded. Oh my God, I'm really going on a steal on this whole fucking mentally retarded thing, aren't I? <laughs> I am. 
I'm sorry. You know how I got through school? You know how I got through school? Oh, you failed this grade, skip you to the next. Oh, failed this grade, skip you to the next. Where did it, where was it? It was like fourth, four, it was like, I, I swear to God, I failed, I know I failed sixth grade, and they just put me in seventh grade anyways just to get rid of me. And then I failed seventh grade, so they kept me in seventh grade. And then I failed seventh grade twice, and they said, okay, ninth grade, goodbye. <laughs> we did what we could to help you. And then uh, it was in ninth grade, 10th grade, I got fucking permanently suspended from the school district because they thought I was gonna be a school shooter when I didn't even have access to guns. I got arrested as I came off the school bus. I got handcuffed, I got frisked, I got all my fucking possessions took away, and you know what they find? They go into my backpack. And they see all these broken pencils, broken pens, little miscellaneous rocks, pieces of metal. And they come up to me, and you know what the cop asked me? He's like, hey, Keith, why do you have a backpack full of all these broken pens, pencils, and whatnot? And you know what I had to say to the cop? You know the one thing I said to that cop? Find that cop and ask him what I fucking said. Because it went exactly like this. When the kids throw them at me, I keep them. Because if I throw them back, they'll just throw it again. I, I learned a very valuable lesson in school is that when people attack you, don't react. That's what I learned in school as I was getting verbally abused every day, as things were being thrown at me every day and I kept my fucking mouth shut and I never was violent. I was never violent. But the second you hit me in the hallway or the second you pushed me in the hallway because I was in your way, it's a fucking hallway. I'm already on the side I'm supposed to be on. It's like hurting fucking cattle in there anyways. A fucking kid pushed me. I grabbed him by the scruff of his neck. I threw him up against that glass and I wanted to punch him in the face. But I knew that they would take away my coffee cup if I punched him in the face. So I let him go. They still tried to take my coffee cup away. And I refused to give up my coffee cup. I carried a, a plastic coffee cup. I, I didn't bring a metal one because I wasn't allowed to bring a metal one. But I carried a plastic cup of coffee, a, a, a plastic thing of coffee with me. I go into the teacher's lounge and steal fucking coffee sometimes too. Yeah, yeah. Wait for them to not be in there. I had a video production class that was right next to the teacher's lounge, so it was kind of easy sometimes. So why did I have this cup of coffee with me? Well, it was a defense weapon. You see, I carried the coffee cup with me because if anyone wanted to fight me or anyone tried to attack me, I had a weapon to defend myself with. Every group I went to just fucking made fun of me or picked on me. They all fucking hated me. So what the fuck do I care if you hate me now? I don't give a fuck now. I never gave a fuck. I've been hating my whole goddamn fucking life. And so far, in my older adult days, it's a lot better. It ain't like that in fucking school no more. But now you want to fucking protect everyone, protect everyone, while you fucking punish others. You know, you grow up fucking strong. You take your fucking beatings, you grab yourself up, and you get fucking stronger. That's what I had to do. And now you want to fucking, oh no, uh-uh. No, 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 no. No, see, see. Weakness must be driven out. You must make yourself stronger. You must expose yourself to horrible fucking things. Things that you don't like to hear. So that way you can get stronger. And here you all want to be fucking weaker? No. I ain't joining you. I ain't joining you in the weakness. I got my e side, but I ain't joining you in the whole fucking weakness shit. Not. If you want to survive, you got to be fucking strong. Physically, mentally, no, you can't You can't survive in the world. And if you're soft, you're going to kill yourself. As the kids told me in school, go home and kill yourself, Keith. Go home and kill yourself. Oh, you came back to school. Why are, why are you here? I told you to go kill yourself. Why didn't you do what I told you to do? And here you are, fighting with me on a fucking YouTube and you go fucking comment and you comment peace love and harmony fuck you because you don't fucking understand shit what privileged life have you lived how good has your life been have you ever had to worry about where you're fucking gonna get money for food 
money for gas. If I lose this fucking car, it could be the fucking end of me. Well, I probably, I, I, I will pull something out of my asshole to save myself because no one else is going to save me. I have to do it on my own. And I'm tired. I'm tired of doing everything on my fucking own all the time. But I can't trust anyone. I can't trust anyone. None of you. Not even Alex Jones. I trust no one. I like you guys who are subscribed to me. Thank you. It, it, I do like having some type of viewership. But I can't trust. I can't trust no one. It's so hard. It makes me feel uncomfortable to try and trust someone. This is why I don't have a relationship in my life. I don't even have a relationship with my family. I don't have a relationship with my fucking adopted family, which shit on me too because I voted for the Trump. I'm alone. I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to be around others even. Like you'll all be around in a huge group, but I'll be quiet. Or I'll be loud. But at the end of the day, I don't like being there. And if I'm there, I'm there. I do what I need to do. I do my fucking gig. And then I get the fuck out of there to be away from everyone. Because I can't, I don't, I'm always looking. I'm always waiting for someone to try to fucking stab me. Someone's going to throw something at me. Someone's going to fucking try to hurt me. So I'm always on the defense. I'm always trying to protect myself. And no one else can, can protect me. No one else ever could. They tried. They did everything they could to keep them kids from picking on me. Nothing fucking changed. And I know why. Because I refuse to change. I will be me. I will not be you. I will wear what I want to wear, not what you want me to wear. I will say what I fucking want to say. And I don't give a fuck if you like it or not. You don't like it? Don't fucking watch. And that's how I feel it is anyways. I don't got much fucking viewers, so fine. I don't care. I care, but I don't care. Because I've always been fucking alone. God damn it. I think this video went deeper than I even wanted it to go. I'm fucking done. I'm done. Fucking done.